more often than not, if I'm smoking pipe tobacco, I am drinking water and just enjoying the pipe. Sometimes I like to enjoy the pipe with coffee in the mornings. I would say, well, if it's the morning, I'm definitely enjoying my pipe with coffee. And sometimes I'll have iced tea, especially in the afternoons or early evenings. But when it's evening, evening, and I'm in the mood, every once in a blue moon, I will pair pipe tobacco with whiskey. And there's one pairing in particular that's kind of a go-to for me. And that would be McBaron HH Old Dark Fire. And bourbon. Any good bourbon will do. Mm. Oh yeah. Tonight, I'm enjoying one of my all-time favorite bourbons, Noah's Mill. Mm. Nose milk comes in at a nice high proof, uh, but not over the top. And one of the interesting notes that I get from it, <coughs> believe it or not, uh, is cotton candy. Obviously, it also has a lot of those traditional bourbon notes, you know, vanilla, uh, a little bit of a little bit of cinnamon, caramel, and then Old Dark Fired, if you've not had it. My go-to description is barbecued mushrooms. It's very barbecue forward, very meaty and earthy. That median earthiness combines into something makes me think of barbecued mushrooms. But I could read the back of it for you as well here. Uh, what does it say? Robust, earthy. Oh, yep, earthy. Yeah, there's not really much here other than the process and everything. Mm. But the interplay is um, kind of a really, really sweet barbecue experience. Because you already have this barbecue going on, and you add that sweetness from the bourbon. Mm. And I do like it. Now, when you're pairing any drink with <clears throat> pipe tobacco or I would even say a cigar I find there's two routes you can go <clears throat> number one is the route that I've gone tonight get flavors that are sort of similar I would argue that both of these have a very uh, full, brown, meaty <laughs> kind of profile, if you will. They're both heavy. There's nothing light going on here. 
And that could be a good thing if they're working together to sort of achieve the same goal. But there's another route you can go where you purposefully choose you know, a lighter profile tobacco, <clears throat> darker whiskey, or vice versa. When I have coffee, for example, sometimes I'll have coffee with a straight Virginia. And the Virginia is very light profile. It's sweet, but it's, it's a very light uh, citrusy sweetness. Pair that with coffee. Even a light roast coffee is sort of a heavy experience if you compare it to something like tea. <clears throat> And then you get the citrus playing with the citrus that might be in the coffee. Then, of course, you get the dark notes from the coffee, and it's wonderful stuff. Mm. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you because it's something that I do from time to time. And I do love whiskey. And I don't want to, you know, make whiskey videos because the people who have subscribed to this channel, who watch this channel, are clearly into the, the pipe smoking thing that I do. But I figure if I lump them together, I could sneak some whiskey in there. And if you liked this video, if you think it's cool, um, I mean, you could obviously like it. <laughs> but uh, what would be even cooler is if you would let me know uh, in the comments that you'd like to see more pairing videos. And maybe I could do one for scotch. Uh, maybe I could do one for coffee, for tea. Or if you don't like it, tell me to, you know, quit it. And if that's the consensus, I'll quit it. Mm. That's really nice. Well, for those of you keeping score at home, I can't remember exactly what the, the model is or anything, but this is a George Jensen estate pipe that I got. And uh, it's called a Royal Knight. And I think this is an acorn shape. I'm not a expert on pipe shapes, so maybe somebody can correct me on that. This pipe it doesn't work well with a lot of blends. I've found it really needs a, a strong blend in it to be enjoyed. Um, so I've done like really heavy Englishes done like pirate cake, which I don't think is technically in English, but very heavy in Latakia. And because Old Dark Fire tends to knock me on my ass, I figured it'd be good to pack it into this little bowl um, so I don't get knocked on my ass tonight. It is a weeknight. And I'm finding that Old Dark Fire pairs well with this too. Perhaps even better than those uh, strong English blends. So I may have discovered something this evening. Anyway, I think that's it. I hope you are having a fantastic evening as well. Um, if you've got any cool pairings that involve whiskey, or any pairings in general that you'd like to share, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, thanks for hanging out.